Okay guys, today I'm retesting the OCZ Vertex 3 120GB SSD that I reviewed recently. Now I'll put a link up on the screen to the review. Now the reason I'm retesting this SSD is because when I tested it initially, it was on the Asus Rampage 3 Extreme motherboard, which is renowned for its horrible SATA 3 performance. So I'm going to be testing it on the Asus Sabertooth P67 motherboard. If you look at the fine print on the OCZ website, it says that the maximum performance of this drive was achieved on a P67 chipset motherboard. Okay, so I have the drive hooked up to my test bed. So it's actually still in the hot swap drive tray from my Corsair Obsidian 800D, which is normally where I run this drive. Now it's plugged in right here to the native Intel SATA 3 controller which runs directly from the P67 chipset. I'll just quickly go over the specifications of the testbed. Asus Sabertooth P67, Core i7 2600K at 4.8 GHz, 8 GB of G-Skill, Rip Jaws X, 1600 MHz, 78724 CR2, 1.65 volts, Nvidia GTX 560 Ti, MSI Twin Frozer 2, so the OS drive is actually an OCZ Vertex 2 and then I have a storage drive which is a Western Digital Caviar Black 1TB SATA 3 the power supply is an Enemax Revolution 1250 watt. the testbed is a Microcool Banchetto 101 so the CPU is being cooled by this Dangerden Triple Radiator water box the heatsink is an EK Supreme HF Nickel Acetyl just a quick look at the water box I'll put a link up on the screen to a video detailing this water box. Okay, so time to look at the results. Now I'm going to be putting them up in screenshots and I'm going to have the results from the Rampage 3 Extreme motherboard on the Marvel 9128 controller and the results from the Asus Sabertooth P67 motherboard on the Intel SATA 3 controller from the P67 chipset. So I'll have them clearly listed so that you can tell which ones they are and compare them to each other. Okay, so that sums up this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and also give the video a thumbs up. Thanks guys.